few days ago, I posted my best and worst books of the year so far video. And in that video, I lied. I did not even realize that this had happened until a very good friend messaged me before watching the video and told me what she expected to find in that video. And I had to tell her that she wouldn't find that in that video. In that video, I told you my five worst books of the year. One of those books should not have been on the list because a different book should have been. The book that was the worst book that I read this year was so bad that my brain deleted it from the cache. I did not remember that I had read this book until she brought it up to me. The friend in question is Hillary from Bookborn and the book in question is Norwegian Wood, which she and I read together. If you weren't expecting to see Norwegian Wood on the list, it's probably because I haven't talked about it much on my channel. When she and I read this book together, we talked about it on her channel. Everything about that is heinous. And when I filmed a negative review for it, she kindly told me that it was too spicy for booktube. I, I don't understand how anyone is okay with this book. I, I take that back. I understand why a very specific type of person would be okay with anything that's in this book. And that type of person is somebody against whom I would immediately want a restraining order. So I didn't post it to my main channel. I just shared it with my patrons. My best and worst books of the year video should have been the opportunity to talk about why that book is terrible. I just, it, it's kind of hard to, to talk about this without spoilers because because the spoilers are unbelievable. Like I, like, I don't think you will believe me about this book unless you have read it or unless I tell you the spoilers, which is why there will be a spoiler section. But instead, because I forgot about it, a different book made the bottom of the list and it shouldn't have been there. Daughter of Redwinter should never have been in my worst books of the year and it wouldn't have been if I had remembered that I had read Norwegian Wood and therefore shifted down the whole list. Norwegian Wood is possibly the worst book that I've ever read in my life. But so basically this is the worst thing that I've ever read in my life. Yeah. No, I feel pretty confident saying that. I went to the trouble of actually writing a review on Goodreads for it, which I almost never do. The video that I filmed talking about it, I was told was too spicy for booktube. That's how bad it was. Does Murakami think that this is what women think and do? That a, a woman who, or a girl who wants to be there for her friend would be like, oh, but you didn't notice my hair, so fuck you. It was so bad that my brain refused to acknowledge that any time of my life was wasted on that book. But the main character in that book is such a nothing of a character, such an absence of a character. And does our main character have a thought about the story that he's been told? No, he doesn't. Does he have a reaction to this story that he's been told? No, he doesn't. Does he think to himself, do I want this lady? to be the roommate of my friend, of my vulnerable young friend, who is clearly unstable. No. He's just like, hmm, interesting. That sucks for you. That's all he has to say about that. Um, but you know, what a guy. He's just amazing. He's the best. Actually, the main character kind of falls into that, I think, too. I mean, to say main character is to <laughs> imply that he is a character, which I think is a bit of a leap. <laughs> Yeah, we, um, truthfully, we didn't really remember his name. Um, we called him Toast the entire time we were reading this book. The main character has no personality. Do you guys know how everyone says Bella from Twilight doesn't have a personality? This makes Bella look like an Abercrombie character. That the absence of the book from my memory is not all that surprising. In any event, that's what I'm here today to tell you, to set the record straight, to apologize to Daughter of Redwinter for being on that list when it should not have been, and to tell you that Norwegian Wood is truly the worst book that I've read this year so far. And I fully expect it to be the worst book that I've read all year. And after this, I better not forget about it when I do film my worst books of the year at the end of the year. But if I do forget, I know I can rely on Hillary to remind me that that book happened. We read it. Um. You're welcome, and I wish we hadn't had to. Um, it gets worse, though. And that terrible time in our lives should not be forgotten. So I'm sorry to you, the viewers. I'm sorry to Hillary for forgetting about that experience. And I'm sorry to Daughter of Red Winter for being on a list that it should not have been on. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts and feelings, as usual. I post videos on Saturdays, other random times as well, but definitely Saturdays. So like and subscribe. Join my Patreon if you want to see my Norwegian Wood video in full. And I'll see you when I see you.
Bye.